I'm going to be using mine, and when I say mine, the one that I was given, I actually wrote my name on there so I know which one it, which one it was. And I'll use this one to try to get the uh, thickness established on it. So measuring this raw casting, we had right at 160 thousandths to come off of this to bring it to three quarter. So I touched off on the very first one and took 80 thousandths. And then so I've been measuring quite a few of them. I, I picked up four of them and measured them. And they're all really consistent. And my calculator's telling me that I have 82 thousandths to, uh, to bring it down. So I'll actually sneak up on that size. I'll probably take say, um, let's say take 70 thousandths off one on this one here. And then I'll mic it and then whatever we have left. And I'll know that that will be our depth established for the other ones. Got that right there at 1,000 under, and right there on that end, it's 4,000 over. Not quite far enough away right there, and that's 3,000 over right there. So I'm getting some inconsistency on flatness right here. So I'm going to check the uh, face of my fixture plate we're going to indicate it and see if this thing is uh is not angled in any way all right i think i figured out my problem there we can see the indicator is on five go to the other side there and we're on zero so i've got five thousandths uh tilt in this plate right here i made sure everything was clean when i put the vise on and even when I put the fixture in there and I bumped it down, it is sitting down on these uh, parallels down in there. So I'm not really, uh, I'm kind of confused as to uh, why it's tilted at an angle because whenever I had uh, made this and, and initially inspected it after we made it, it was near perfect from uh, being parallel. So because I'm working on this and this is sort of a sacrificial uh, face there, I'm going to go ahead and face it. You know, you're talking five thousandths. And any time you use these things, that's kind of one of the ways that these fixtures are intended to be used on these uh, mills is that once you install it on the machine, you go ahead and you mill it so that you know you've got a nice, true parallel surface to your cutter there. So I hate to um, ruin my, uh, my pretty surface uh, on there from the shaper, but I'm going to go ahead and mill this thing nice and flat so that we know we've got a good parallel surface to clamp on. All right, just gonna skin 5,000 off of it or whatever it needs to clean it up. And I won't be able to go all the way to the end right here, so we're gonna have an area that's uncut, but it's still gonna be flat over there where we're clamping our squares down. I just don't wanna swap that out. I could go to a six inch and it would probably cover this whole thing, but I'm just gonna deal with it after.
Looks good. I just gave myself an eighth of an inch overlap there. Looks like it's going to work good. We moved down and I went ahead and touched it off again. Just took a few thousands to clean it up. I'm getting some better results now. I'll show you. Go ahead and move it from uh, that position back. Indicator jumps around a little just from the vibrations of the machine. So that's pretty well zero, zero there. All right, so uh, we'll go side to side. I already checked it, it looks really good. Until you get right out here to the very end of it, I can tell that it moved just a touch. But this area that we're gonna be working in, I believe is gonna be good now. So right there, we're not even a half a thousandth off right there. We go to, that, go to the very, very tip. Once, you, once it hits this area right in here, it drops off one thousandth. So we got a good flat section right in here now that we should be able to rely on for the rest of our milling. So this is my square, the one I wrote my name on, the one I was given first. So I believe I've got everything pretty well where I'm wanting it now. I went ahead and um, I cut both sides and I've taken a total of 10 thousandths off, you know, five thousandths off one side, five off the other and from touch off. And now we are getting it nice and uh, nice and even. So I'm actually I'm actually six thousandths under three quarter because I had to clean it up. But I'm getting a good consistent reading now, all the way down. So we know we're, we're cutting nice and nice and straight. Okay. So we're going to take this one out, and what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and put the other twelve back in there on the uh, cast face like I've already done and go ahead and skin this side that I've cut. I need to take like four thousandths off this side right there. And then once we flip it over, we should be nice and parallel all the way down the sides. What I'm doing is I'm going back over every one of them and I'm skinning four thousandths off of it just to be sure that both of these surfaces are gonna be nice and flat and it should be parallel when we cut the other side there. Just going back through, and we got these cut, still got these to do. guys we're finishing out the opposite side now I've got everything set we've got our uh, deck height there where we need it this is one that we've got done right here you see both sides all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just start finishing out the other side get them all milled
Okay, we now have all of them machined on uh, both sides here, including mine. This is mine right here. And this is the last one that we just cut. So real happy with the results. It's miking out good. Time to take this face mill out and I'm gonna uh, change my setup to an end mill. I'm probably gonna find me a nice beefy solid carbide end mill to uh, do the next stop. And what I wanna do is uh, mill the sides there. So we're gonna have the machine set up to where we can come down this side right there and then come down this side right there and hopefully uh, mill out a nice, perfect 90 degree or as perfect as this milling machine will do. So we will bring you back once I get all the setup ready and uh, ready to go. I'm going to I'm going to set mine up here and uh, get it tested and proven and making sure that we got a good setup before we move on to all of the uh, customer squares.